Welcome once again. Right now we're at Philippians chapter 3, verse 6. Now, I'm only going to read one verse in this particular video, and that's because it is so important. It is such a powerful point. Paul obeys the law of God blamelessly. Paul continues his letter to the Philippians in chapter 3, verse 6, talking about why he would have confidence in the flesh, saying, concerning zeal, persecuting the assembly, concerning the righteousness which is in the law, found blameless. This word blameless here means without fault, faultless, no defect. Paul was in effect saying right here that he was perfectly obeying the law of God. Not one command does he break. Now also consider Luke chapter 1 verse 6, speaking of the parents of John the Baptist. Zechariah and Elizabeth. It also says of them. Now, this is before, you know, Jesus' death and resurrection and, you know, the coming of the, the gift of the Spirit in Acts chapter 2. This is before all that. And even before all that, it says the parents of John the Baptist obeyed all. A-L-L. -L, all. All the commands of the Lord blamelessly. Now, that goes against what evangelical Christianity would tell you today. They would tell you what well, nobody can obey the law. I mean, everybody is a sinner, okay? Nobody can obey all the commands. I mean, who can obey all the commands? It's, you know, the law is perfect and nobody's perfect. Now, that sounds all logical and everything, but that is not scriptural. Think about it this way. God, in his tender mercies, God, in his love that endures forever, looked upon his people while they were in Egypt, suffering under slavery, hard bondage. And he said, I am going to deliver my people. I am going to set them free. I am going to show them how much I love them. And how is he going to do that? He's going to take them out of Egypt and he's going to give them the law. Now, if the law is bondage, like some people say, why would God look down in his tender mercies and his love that endures forever and say, look at my precious people, how I love them so much. Look at how they are in bondage. I'm going to set them free just so I can slap bondage on them back again. You think he's like that? No, he's not. Do you think that he would give his beloved people, the people whom he loves above all other people, do you think that he would give them commands that he knows that they could not obey and then say, if you don't obey these commands, you're cursed. If you don't obey these commands, you go to hell. Do you think that he would do that? Absolutely not. He is not an unreasonable dictator, an unreasonable tyrant. He gives us commands that we are able to obey. Deuteronomy chapter 30, he makes it clear. All the commands I gave you are easy for you. I'm not asking you to climb up a huge mountain. I'm not asking you to build a ladder up to heaven so you can work so hard to get up to heaven to, to find me. I'm not asking you to dig deep into the earth, you know, to get to the bottom of the Mariana Trench or something. I'm not, I'm not asking you to do that stuff. The word is near you. The law of God and the ability to do it is right there before you. It's not hard to obey. It's right there. It is easy. God is not an unreasonable tyrant. Paul made that very clear here. He said, concerning the law, concerning the righteousness that is in the law, I am found blameless. He didn't say what a lot of people would say today. I think about what pastors would say today. Well, no, I, there's no way I can obey all the law. Oh, no, I break the law every day. You know, the law of God, there's something in the law of God that I break, you know, in thought, word, or deed every day. Paul said the absolute opposite. He said, concerning the law, I am blameless. Yes, it is possible to be blameless according to the law. And this is New Testament doctrine. Seek God while he may be found. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will surprise you and show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.